How long have you been an artist and when did you start painting pictures? Roughly about 25 years ago I started, yeah, as a request from my wife. She sent me to an art class in Preston after finishing work in Wellington. I now specialise in all military paintings for the last 15 years. Everything from the First World War, Afghanistan, Iraq, the lot. I was selected and picked out to put the 50th anniversary Dambuster squadrons on the, the, fifth, the fishing cruise ship. And when I heard that, I thought, well, I've reached the top of my career now. From the first year, where do I go from here? And how many do you reckon you've done of them? How many? Well, we had, at this weekend's 100th anniversary, I had 52 on display at the church, which are now present in my hall, waiting to be carried upstairs by some person other than me. <laughs> <laughs> the process for a lot of people, for me particularly, I start with a colour called burnt umber, right? Burnt tumba can be spread over the canvas, basically at that colour, and then you get tapes on a brush and you can wipe out the highlights, so that's two tones. Then you get the paint straight out the tube and you darken it up, yeah? So immediately you've got three tones on that canvas, and then you, you can either put colour in it or leave it. Um, yeah, so what's the work you do with the British Legion? Yeah, it used to be the standard bird because I'm getting old a bit like I now do. Collecting for the Poppy Appeal five hours a day, yeah, I've done 35 hours just standing by a table, no seat, no drinks, no nothing, just standing there by a table and you're not even allowed to smile at the women. You're not even allowed to wrap your box because it looks like you're poverty and you know. <laughs> I find it very hard to do. <laughs> Final question, just how, how does it feel having uh, been the 100 years anniversary since the end of the First World War? How, how do it feel? I want to say it's just a complete not a waste of life. Complete not a waste of life. It's disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. What can happen? Yeah. For no reason at all. Why do all these things happen? I have no idea. If it was up to the general public, probably the world would be overpopulated, but, you know, all friends. Yeah, I can't. I, I'll start getting upset in a minute. I was asked to put a display on in Leyland Museum and the museum is extremely small. On the finishing day I went up with my daughter Linda to collect all the paintings. So this gentleman, Colin, tapped me on the shoulder and he says, um, would you like a book? <laughs> I haven't read a book, never mind, made a book. We write it out together I'm there to check, yeah, that it's the way I want it. So Colin, with all his works and technology on the computer, produced a book for me. Besides the kids, the children, it's the most valuable thing I have.